Hi guys, this is Fee, Dumb in the Rough, and um, my Universal Yums, my Yum Yum box arrived. Now, my last one arrived on the 14th of the month. This one arrived yesterday, the 27th of the month. So we're a bit out of, I don't know how they go with their dates and how they send them, but my last box I got before I saw anybody else's on any other anybody else's yum yum box or universal yums box was um, up so here we go for those that are new to my channel I should stop saying that shouldn't I but okay guys so for those that haven't seen this that's the better way to put it this is the yum yum box so universal yums send out a subscription box every month um, from a different company country i have had greece i have had austria and now i have a new box so this is how they come packaged up and they're sealed with i think that's where it's come from the land of the rabbits i've got no idea where the land of the rabbits is but they open this box up so what you you actually have my face here hello <laughs> Um, I think part of the uh, appeal that some people get from this is actually watching my facial expressions as I'm trying to. If you haven't already discovered, for those, <laughs> one thing you will discover, I don't like dark chocolate. Okay, so what have I got? I have got the universe, my yum yum box. I have an apple and I have learnt a knife and a fork because sometimes eating this stuff, well, let's just say I've had something that's really sticky and I wish I hadn't touched it. So, yeah, yeah, it was yummy. Um, for those that are interested in trying this out, the Universal Yums, they do, a, <clears throat> they do offer a referral credit. So if you use the link below, uh, that will give you $5 off your first order. But then it does also give puts five dollars towards my subscription box. So when I continue to go on with this, I will say, however, I did this as uh, not a subscription box. Well, I brought it as a gift box. So I, I gifted it to myself. I did a six month gift box. So whereby for six months, instead of having to worry about the deductions coming out every month, I have paid for all the whole lot. And for six months I'll receive this and then because I didn't want to just do a subscription and a subscription and a subscription so you can get that and purchase it for yourself and go right here I only want it for six months to so give it a go um, I've done two months this is month three okay so the land of the rabbits Spain let's open this up so there we go whoops Oh, let's open the box. So inside this, so there's three size boxes. You have the Universal Yums has the Yum Box, the Yum Yum Box, and is it the Super Yum Box? I don't know. But this is the Yum Box, Yum Yum Box, which is 12 snacks. Oh, okay. And so they come with a, oh, yum. Oh, I've already seen some of the stuff under there. Um, comes with this uh, card with um, the country so there we go there's Spain different cities um, okay and then on the back you have the official yum wards if you do this with a family you're going to focus on it if you do this as a family you can actually everyone can vote from best second best worst or weirdest Okay, and then there is a secret puzzle to try and work out what's the next month. So I'm going to try and keep that aside and try and figure that one out because last time I didn't do it. So I'm going to pop that on the top. This box, I'm now going to try and reposition. There we go. I'll pop that over there so you can't see. Okay, so this box welcomes us to Spain. Let the Yum Yum Box Adventure. So it tells you all sorts of stuff on there. Um, places to visit, foods, flavours. Who came from there? Pablo Picasso was from Spain. 
the Osborne Bull. So what does it say? Welcome, greetings from España, that's Spanish for Spain. Spain was originally named Hispana. Is it going to focus? Meaning land of Robert, ra ra robbers, rabbits by the Carthaginians, and they first arrived in 300 BC because of tons and tons of bounties they found on the land. Cute, right? But there's much more to Spain than its famous friends. We're talking sun-soaked beaches, world-famous art, Picasso, anyone? Colourful flamingo down, dancing, exhilarating bull runs, and of course some unbelievably delicious yums. Let's pop to it. So there's this box actually has the so there's trivia. How well do you know Spain? So as a family thing, this is quite a this would be quite a cool family thing to do. But I do this myself. Um, and then what I do do is I seal the packets back up. Some of guys at work know I do this. I go open these up, I taste them, and take packets to work. So on uh, the first night shift that this box after this box arrives is when these snacks all disappear at work. So we will start with. Um, Do you want, I don't even know where my glasses are. Hi, if you're a new universal, universal yums customer, we want to see the important information. These products in this book may be processed in a factory that processes allergens such as milk, eggs, fish, shellfish. shellfish. So, you know, they do, do put their little health warnings on there. But let's work, holy cow. Let's work our way through the box. So the first one I'm going to pull out is <laughs> Archo. It's pretty close to a sneeze. Archo. Fried egg and sea salt potato chips. So Archo Potatios Fritas, Sabo Huvo Frito. Please tell me I didn't message that because I actually do did. So this sounds really weird. So Fried egg. Let's read this one. Listen up. Your breakfast routine is about to get a major Spanish upgrade. You see, in Spain, there's a super specific way to fry an egg. We're pretty sure it might be the best technique ever. Ready? The trick is to crack the eggs into extra hot olive oil and then to tilt the pan so they sit in a pool of sizzling liquid while gently spooning some oil on top and don't forget the finishing touch, a hearty sprinkling of sea salt. The, ro the result is an egg that's extra crisp on the outside with a gooey runny yolk in the centre. But don't take our word for it. As you chomp into these salty fried egg inspired potato chips, see if you can taste the delectable Spanish difference. Okay. Ah, oh, scissors. Got them. Why is it when I'm filming, filming my camera, my nose gets itchy? Okay. Okay, first look. Okay, yellow. At least I don't have the problem we have in Australia. We do get chips and the bags aren't even halfway full. Okay, so let's have a... Let's just smell like chips. Smell like for Australia thins. Ah, let's have a go. So there we go. Oh wow. Oh wow. That is definitely a fried egg. You don't expect that, but it's You taste the egg, you can really taste the egg. And then towards the end you get it like, oh yeah, it's a chip flavour. But you get a real good hit of egg. Real good. Can I understand why? Okay. Can you, which camera do you guys prefer me to do that stuff on? There we go. you probably hear me crunch in that one. But that's got that real, oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Move the box aside. Napkins aside. 
Okay, and I just need to get my pegs. Yeah, I, I peg these up once I've tried them. Okay, they were yummy. I'd eat more of those. I would, if they were in the shops here, I would buy them. I definitely would. Okay, next one. Monticado Relino de Naranja. Shortbread with orange marmalade filling. Let's find this. Let's dig in and find this in the box. Nope. nope. Oh, the little one. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Trying to keep the box covered so you don't see ahead of me. Okay, so that's the package in there. Monticado. Soft. A bit, a little bit soft. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. But what if life gives you an excess of flour and lard? Oh, that sounds dangerous. You make <coughs> Montecado cookies. At least that's what the town-specific people of Esteba did back in the 15th century. Okay. Locals combined leftover pork fat, flour and sugar rolled into the mixture rolled the mixture into balls and then baked them until lightly golden. Before long their crumbly shortbread had become a national Christmas tradition, making Estepa the hub of a lucrative new industry. Nowadays, August through December marks Montecado season in Estepa when roughly one-sixth of the population goes to work producing 40% of the country's Montecados, about 44 million pounds per year. With this treat, you'll get a delicious taste of Esteba, perfectly paired with another Spanish pride and joy, super sweet Valencia orange. So what are you waiting for? When life gives you Montecados, you munch. <laughs> okay, so this is where one will go to work. This one will get eaten today into the sauce. Okay. Oh, I've been squeezing it. Oh, 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 it does. Oh, um, okay, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry, guys. I actually need to read this one. I need this to read this ingredients. It's really fine print. I can't. I struggle to read it. Um, oh, okay. Okay. There's one. I'm going to cross my fingers. I actually have a, a specific allergy to some products, some books, some food stuff. But um, I'm going to take the risk. I have to take this. Doing it for you guys. Um, <laughs> crumbs all over the desk. Okay, um, so I actually do have an allergy to some orange stuff. I can't drink orange juice out of a carton, but I can drink it fresh. So it all depends on what preserved is I put with it. Okay, so this is what it looks. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, guys. That is so crumbly. That just fell apart my fingers. And bear with me a second. I just adjusted that camera because I could realise that I was doing stuff and you couldn't see it. Right, but that absolutely fell to pieces. Okay, so whoever eats this one at work is going to have to... I have to give them a warning that's very crumbly. Oh, yum. Oh, yum. It just dissolves, just melts away in your mouth. 
Um, however, I... Oh. Oh. It's yummy. And what was it? Excess of flour and lard. <laughs> oh, the lard probably. Uh, I'm not putting that back. Uh, I'm not putting that back. Oh, I'm just going to put that to the side with all its crumbs. Oh, yum. Yeah. <coughs> um, it does have a hint of flavour that I love, <coughs> but it's a flavour that I'm not supposed to have <laughs> that I react to. Okay, so... Con, con Guido, oh no, oh no, sorry guys, dark, <coughs> dark chocolate, <coughs> oh excuse me, that's very crumbly, for those that have watched other ones, dark chocolate I'm not a fan of, so here we go, everybody knows peanuts, M&Ms, even the Spanish, but in Spain the colourful American classics face some serious competition. We're talking about con, con guidos. With 30 million packets sold every year, con guidos is a household, household name in Spain, available anywhere there's a candy aisle. What sets them apart? Maybe it's a cute chocolate chum on the package, or perhaps it's the fact that each piece is printed with a symbol you can use to write messages, but most likely it's a perfect ratio of rich dark chocolate to crunchy salted peanuts that keeps Spaniards and us coming back for more. What do you think? Take your time savouring these congruides and decide how do they stack up against their American counterparts. Mm, doo -doo -doo, where is it? Oh, found it. <laughs> hey, little cutesy thing. Okay. Chocolate coated peanuts. Oh, hang on. Is that a smiley face? <laughs> okay. Dark chocolate. Definitely dark chocolate. Mine, I ate coffee cut, chocolate coated coffee beans the other day with dark chocolate. I generally only eat them dairy milk. Alright. That's not. That is not dark chocolate. There's no way can that be dark chocolate. No. No, it's not dark chocolate, little moose. Yum. You know what? I didn't look to see if what's written on them. What's on that? Mm. Why are you not doing what you need to do? Okay, let's see if I can get this to... There we go. Is he crying? <laughs> okay. Really got to push the limits of this camera for focusing, don't I? Right here. But, yum. Really did like that. Really didn't like those. Another mm. They're pretty much similar to M and M's. Very much, very similar to M and M's. Okay. Just doesn't have that hard candy shell around the outside. Um. So far, I'm just I like I'm lining these up into order power like them. Okay, Aspil Aspidos. What the? They are. It's light. 
Okay. Is that a wafer? Do you think that's sweet or savoury? Because I'm reading it now. So something like that looks like it'll be a sweet thing, doesn't it? Aspilla Spittos. Visiting Spain without tasting its ham. Impossible. So hang on, this is a ham flavoured corn puff snack. Ha okay, visiting Spain without tasting its ham. Impossible. Ham is the crown jewel of Spanish cuisine, featured in countries' traditional dishes. You can't walk through the streets without constantly seeing a ham leg hanging from a butcher shop window. And when it comes to Spain's meaty obsession, the pinnacle is undoubtedly Iberian ham. Sorry, guys, my nose. The delicacy is made from a meat of Iberico hogs, which is hang on, which are fed a special diet of acorns and olives. The tender meat is cured for up to three years. Talk about patience resulting in a complex sweet flavour. We just had to give you a taste, although fortunately for the Iberico hogs, there's no meat in this delicious recipe. Instead, you get the bold flavour of Iberian ham in the form of a crunchy corn puff. Trying not to hog this yum is impossible. All right. Oh, my nose. Hang on a sec, guys. That'll teach me. I just had a sneezing fit. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> That's really light. Okay, hang on. What's the sound like? No, oh, I can't snap it off. I'm going to have to bite it off. It's almost like eating nothing. It is so light. It's almost like you're not eating anything. I'm only just getting a hint of flavour. You can taste the ham, but it's barely there. No. They're pretty nondescript. It's almost like, not cardboard, but because it's softer than cardboard, but there's just no real, there's no real flavour to it, tell me. Mm. All right. Well, I wouldn't even worry about try. Well, no, try, I've just tried. But I wouldn't even worry, waste any, I wouldn't purchase it. There's just nothing there. Okay. Cortadillo Relino de Crema, which is soft cake with cream filling. Oh, okay. Mm. Mine is squashed. <laughs> okay. This. Yeah, if I do that, I can, you know what, I can read it better. This cordadella is a mystery. What's so puzzling about a cake, you ask? The answer takes us to the comments of Southern Andalusia, where Catholic nuns first prepared the treat. Here's where things get stickier than this yum sugary glaze. Nuns in the Andalusian cities of Seville, Cadiz, Hilfa and Echa all claim cordillas as their own creations. Spells like a sweet who done it to us. Obviously four different cities couldn't have come up with the exact same thing so the world may never know who to credit for the cordillo. As for why so many people would want to claim it, that's a mystery we can solve. After one taste of this delicate, decadent cake with its luscious cream and super sweet coating, this 
case is as good as closed. Okay, so they're actually warning. Back in your box. There we go. So they are actually warning um, that it's going to be sticky. <laughs> Here's a plate I prepared earlier. And it actually it feels sticky. It, if that makes sense, it feels like it's sticky. What's inside is going to be sticky and gooey. Soft cake with cream filling. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's Oh gosh. Alright. Okay. So there we go. You can see the stickiness. Oh, it's not as sticky as the baklava. Okay, here we go. Oh. Now. That's pretty close to cake dough that hasn't been cooked. Is the way that tastes, or the 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 feel of it. That's a miss for me. No, it's just a confusing flavour. Soft cake with cream filling, but I can't describe the flavour. Well, well, don't really eat it. I can eat it. It's not like it's offensive, but I don't get it. Does that make sense? I don't get it. <clears throat> I will eat it later. I think it needs to be eaten with a cup of coffee. No. Okay. So where in the ratio is that? It's above that, but it's below those. Next page. Rightio. Artisan potato chips. Ooh, ooh. Wonder how much Spanish air is in that bag. Look at how puffed it up, puffed up it is. Okay. Artisan potato chips, Mediterranean herb, potato chips with assorted herbs, garlic and onion. Open this bag of chips and you'll immediately notice the intoxic intoxicating aroma of Spanish herbs. You've just experienced what it's like to enter a kitchen in Spain. Rosemary, oregano and thyme are all native to the Mediterranean, making them staples of traditional Spanish cooking. Rosemary sprigs are sprinkled on. Into scrumptious paella, oregano is mixed into savoury adobo seasonings and thyme is crucial for curing beloved Spanish olives. Get excited because these extra crispy potato chips have um, all plus basil, parsley, garlic and onion. You might be tempted to just sit and take in the fragrant aroma of these chips, but trust us, they taste even better than they smell. Okay. So one of the things that we notice is some of these packets are full of air. So let's see if this one's full of <laughs> air. Oops. Oh, no. uh, well, it's not. Well, it's, there's more in there than I do get some chips in, in Australia. Hang on, I don't I need that plate anymore. Okay, so. Oh, I can smell. I can smell the oregano. Okay, so here we go. Yummy. I love. I found just about all the chips that I've come across in these packs have always been really good. Mmm. Mmm.
Oh yeah. I'd sit here and just eat these. These are yummy. <laughs> I should stop, shouldn't I? <laughs> mm. These are the flavours that I cook with. Um, what have I done? That I've got a dish that I cook that has all these flavours in it. And it just makes me think of that dish, but all these flavours are put in, it's in a stew. <clears throat> but yum. Okay, they are really nice. I'm going to reclassify that with there and peg that. And those chips are sitting above the nuts. Does that make sense? Not being rude at all. Oh, look at all the crumbs on my desk. Okay, next. La Casitos Go. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, good. Whoops. It's in a tube. Caramello, caramel, yum. Oh, even better. I just read something I really like. So, La Casito's Gold, candy coated white chocolate and caramel pieces. <clears throat> Hunting for gold, if you've been around 2000 years ago, Spain would have been a great place to look. La Medulus Gold Mine, located in the northern product of Lyon, was once the most important source of gold in the Roman Empire. Ancient locals dug an elaborate system of canals for following water to erode, to erode rock, which loosened the gold. Fortunately, we have a much easier way to find Spanish gold by looking in your box. There you'll find a golden tube. Inside that, bright golden candies. These nuggets might not make you rich, but with their buttery crunch and sweet caramelly flavour, your taste buds are about to strike gold. Mm -hmm. Caramel and white chocolate. Okay, there's a seal on this. See the seal. Hmm, <laughs> sharp pointy thing. Exactly, no. Uh, I'm so tempted to use my teeth to open this up. Oh, there we go. Right. Caramel. Candy coated white chocolate and caramel pieces. Alright, so there we go. They're actually got lit written on it. The casitos. Here we go. Oh, it's a caramel smarty. But it's not. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm gonna have a couple of those. I thought I'd be greatly impressed with that, but mm. <coughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. Sorry, guys. Um, actually, do they're nice, but they're underwhelming. I think basically, for me to enjoy the full flavour of that, I'd have to eat them all and just stick them all in my mouth. The flavours are not up there. So it's like these, it's a nondescript real, there's a real, it's just a hint of a flavour, if that makes sense. Just a hint, you can't really tell 100% that it's caramel, you can't tell that there's white chocolate, but there's a hint of it. I don't know. 
Okay, so next. Jeebies, that looks interesting under there. Okay, Aspil Pantazo's mix. Chili barbecue flavoured corn and rice snacks. No, that's not. No, that's not them. Oh, it's foods. There we go. That's better. I thought I was getting into the big box. Pontazo Smith con chili barbecue flavored corn and rice snack. Fun fact: Spain has the world's <laughs> fun fact. Spain has the most bars per capita in the world. The region of Andalusia alone boasts a whopping forty-seven thousand of them, more than Ireland, Denmark, and Norway combined. It's all thanks to Spain's bar culture. Unlike in other countries, Spanish bars are spaces to socialise with friends and family at all hours of the day, blurring the right line between cafe and pub. And folks just go more than just and folks go for more than just casual drinks. They also go for corn nuts. Bottomless bowls of the crunchy bites are eaten by the handful alongside jarras, pitchers of sweet sangria and tons of great conversation. With this yum, you'll get a taste of Spain's beloved bar snack, plus a few more surprises. Rice puffs, salty corn chips and chili barbecue seasoning make this yum totally one of a kind, perfect for happy hour or a scrumptious solo snack. Cheers, or should we say, salud. Okay. So this is a chili. Okay. <clears throat> uh, take the top off. Oh, hang on, hang on, guys. I just realised, look at that. There's a star in there. I hope there's more flavour to it than the smell. There's not much in the way of the smell. Okay. Little rice balls, little balls. Oh. Crunch. Oh, wow. Okay. There's flavour in those. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yum. If the, I'm not tasting any chilli. Oh, yum. <laughs> Can you hear that crunching? Holy cow. Bars would be noisy with those. You wouldn't hear conversation. Ah, a little bit of a hint of chilli now that I've stopped eating them. But all in all, yummy. Some diff all different shapes, obviously, so they'll be different flavours. Oh, look, there's a corn one. Oh, yum. Yum. Okay, that's up there in the snack. That's definitely up there in the snacks. Maybe I'm not having much of a chocolate day. So I'm not going. Okay. There's my rating so far. <clears throat> but yeah, yum. Oh, I do have a drink. Hang on a sec, guys. Okay. But yum, yum, that was nice. Okay, next one, Vidal Spicy Mangoes. They're squishy, really squishy. I don't like mangoes, so this is going to be fun. Spicy mango flavoured gummies. Mmm. This yum is hot in every possible way. For one, Spanish mangoes are grown in the southern region. How about I put it there? Spanish region of uh, 
of La Axquera. It's going to focus so you can read it. La Ax part of Spain's coastal del Sol, Sol Oriental, coast of the eastern sun. The region is one of Europe's hottest, averaging 320 sunny days out of the year. Secondly, Spain's mangoes are extremely are an extremely hot commodity. Mangoes are the newest European craze, but Spain is the only country in the EU that produces them. Cool. International demand is so high that in 2018, Spain produced a record-breaking number of mangoes, a whopping 30,000 tonnes. And last, but certainly not least, there's this gummy flavour, which is soothingly fruit, soothingly fruity and then surprisingly spicy. It's safe to say that you've never tasted mango this hot before. In fact, you might want to grab some milk. Okay, how's that for a warning? You might want to go to the milk. I hope my coffee will do it. Mmm. Well, it's saying fat free and gluten free. Mm, that'll be interesting, but there'll be a lot of sugar, I'd say. Okay. So they look really cool. They do look cool. I can smell them. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh, they are so squishy. They are squishy. They're squishy. Shaped like a mango. Actually, they don't smell too bad. Very. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's heat to that. And not what you expect. To a shovel. Oh, it tastes delicious. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is that is a very confusing food okay maybe I should have grabbed milk oh whoops <laughs> um, they're gonna go down a tree at work um, so you, you eat them and you, you eat it and it tastes like um, you, you've got that yummy lolly taste, that sweet taste, the gummy taste, and then bang, that, it's a really sharp, really sharp spice. Oh. Rachel Ray, if you happen to be watching this, try and get your hands on some of those. Oh. <clears throat> oh, better yet, maybe I should vacuum seal it and send it to you. <laughs> My mouth is still tingling. Um, I liked it, but I'm going to struggle to eat it because there's some really good. <sighs> no, 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 no. Okay, there. Okay, so now that is what's in the standard box I believe now I'm getting into the yum yum section so the additional stuff okay is this a cookie well, I've had a cookie that's looked like this before sorry guys messages are all coming through at the moment okay Carmen please guys Pronounce it yourself. Carmen, when the camera finally focuses on it. Carmen Lipianez Tortas de Cita. Olive oil cookies with almond and, and spices. 
Yes, we have had something like that from... Yeah, I think... Um, might have been in the grease box. Fun fact. Spain's, Spain is the world's largest, largest producer of olive oil, accounting for 21% of the global supply. Another fun fact. Italy, the second largest olive oil producer, is known to import Spanish olive oil and relabel it as their own. Seeing as Spaniards, Spaniards are true olive oil expert, it makes sense that they'd get creative with their prized product. And we're glad they have because it <clears throat> because it resulted in this unbelievably rich almond infused olive oil cookie. By the time you're done, you just might be tempted to douse all your favourite cookies in a little olive oil. But you're probably better off leaving that to the experts. I've still got that lingering chilli from those gummies. Okay. Is there only the one? Yep, which means this one won't be going to work either. Ooh. You can see it's sticky. Oh, that looks like it's going to crumble as well. Or well, maybe not. That reminds me of... That's why my nose is itchy because I'm sniffing all these different foods. Um, that reminds me of my mum's fruitcake. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, it is crumb. It's definitely crumbly. Look at that. It's already split just by picking up. So it's very, very crumbly. That's quite nice. Oh, look at how crumbly that is. Hang on. Mm. Oh. So if it have olive oil in it, it's a bit gluggy. I must be in one of those moods when I'm just not happy with anything. Well, no, I'm happy with someone. Um, <laughs> so the mangoes are spicy. I'd rather eat the mango over that biscuit. Could that just, mm. Hang on a sec, sorry, guys. Okay, so what next? I don't want to open this box because this is really cool box. Hmm, La Casa Truffles, chocolate dusted chocolate truffles. <laughs> Yum! Gonna focus. Okie dokie. Shh. This chocolate is a huge secret, or at least it would have been 500 years ago. We'll explain. Spanish conquistador, conquistador Hernan Cortes first encountered chocolate as a bitter spice drink in Aztec, Mexico. In 1528, he brought the first cocoa beans back to Spain where local friars continued to prepare it as a drink. But with one history-making addition, sugar. As you might expect, the new recipe proved insanely popular. The Spanish monarchy, seeing just how lucrative chocolate could be, tried to keep it hush-hush to establish a cocoa, cocoa stronghold before the rest of Europe caught wind. Unfortunately for them, a travelling Italian brought some beans back to Italy in 1606 and there and before long the entire continent was on to was in on the sweet secret fortunately for you that means that after your ta you taste these decadent cocoa dusted Spanish truffles 
you're free to shout your love from the rooftops. Okay. Mm. Okay, here we go. Such a cute box. I don't want to open it, but I've got to open it to taste it, don't I? Um, there is a tabby thing here. There it is. It's on that side. Where is it? I know I'm under there. Yeah, that's just not happening, is it? Oh, gosh, not happening. Let's go into this way. Ta-da! Okay. That's a big box. Ooh. Geez, they do make it look like a surprise possession, doesn't it? Oh, no. Oh. That looks like it's melted. Ah, uh, wrong time of the year for chocolate. Now this did not, my partner Nathan was home when uh, this box arrived, so it's not like it sat out in the sun, so somewhere along the delivery line it's been stuck in heat. Okay, because that's a tad melted. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can break one off. Oops. Okay, so there we go. I've had to break it off. It's melted. I bet you that there's a delivery truck. <laughs> oh, very good. Um, it's actually. Really nice. Sorry, the look on my face probably didn't explain it, but it was just there was so much of it. Um, yummy. Let's just get how's that napkin. It's a pity the chocolate had melted. Mmm. But yum. Um, I rate that. Mm. Well, or not, that rates above the chips. Oh, okay. mm. Yum! That's um, it's a very, very, very creamy chocolate. Very creamy, very nice. Okay. Elogia galetis relenis con crema sabor limon. Biscuits with lemon cream filling. Okay, that's, that's a hard packet. Okay, radio. Ready for a taste of sweet success? You better be. Because the company behind these zesty cream filled biscuits is about as successful as can be. Elgoria opened for business in. I run in 1770, becoming the very first chocolate company in Spain. By the turn of the 20th century, the company's cocoa, cocoa confections were being sought out by Spanish royalty, namely King Alfonso the 13th, who, who trivia spoiler, had more of a sweet tooth than most monarchs, as he was just a child. Oh, okay. By the late 1970s, Longoria expanded into ch into chocolate cream filled biscuits, and now they've updated the recipe one more, once more, with deliciously zingy lemon cream. Take a bite and decide for yourself how successful this Longoria's latest endeavour. Okay, mm. is that a cowbell on the front? Tell me, is that a cowbell? Looks like a cowbell. And obviously, it's, I can't read the language. Lemon cream filled cookies, naturally flavoured. Mm. 
Okay, let's crack this open. Let's crack this one and see how we go. Oh, yum. They smell really nice. They're not, I can, they're not uniform in size either. Okay, okay. This is going to, okay, so this is already cracked. So this is going to, okay, crumble. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, camera. There we go. Okay, so that that actually crumb, could crumble very easy. Just oh, mmm, mmm, these are yummy. These. I've had biscuits, we've got biscuits like this at here. I don't know what they're called. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. I, I'll, I'll put that to the side. Mmm. Nice. Do you know what? Raise it above the chocolates. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. I knew I'd say it at least once. And the last one, which on Facebook, once you join their group or whatever it is, um, it was really funny. You start seeing, you actually do get to see what um, what the box is going to have in it. And this is the one that I went, what the... So this is Aspil Palomitas Sabor Ketchup y, y Mostaza, which is ketchup and mustard flavoured baked corn snack. Translated, literally, this yum is called ketchup, ketchup and mustard flavoured little dubs. But don't worry, you won't find any feathers inside these puffs. The old Spanish word palomitas originally meant little doves, but in modern time it's used to signify popcorn and other corn snacks, given their small white and vaguely bird-like shape. Okay, I can't see that there, but yeah. That does sound way yummier than a condiment-covered dove. With that dilemma out of the way, you may now be asking yourself, why catch it, why catch it and mustard? The answer isn't a matter of translation, it's a matter of taste. Start munching and let this yum's addictive flavour fusion do the explaining. Mm. So what got me was ketchup and mustard taste. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Okay, is it going to be like one of those ones that I've had already where there was not much smell to it but the flavour was there? Okay, here we go. Oh, I can see wings. Okay. No, oh, that's. Oh, there's a little bit of spice there. But it's a nondescript flavour. It's just something you'd eat because it's just there. Oh, 
Alright. So, how weird is that? Did I, I found this box. That fits in the underwhelming. Okay. So, I'm just going to pop this box to the side. Out of the way. The order that I like these. My order of preference. Look at all the crumbs on my desk. So it was that mango. Shortbread with orange marmalade. Then the lemon cream biscuits. Then the... Um, my head's in a way. There we go. Then the truffles. And then the Mediterranean flavoured herbs, flavoured chips. Then the cocktail snacks. And then the chocolate coated peanuts. And then the fried egg. Oh, yeah, then the fried egg. Then the La Casitas, um, which is the caramel coated. The white chocolate caramel coated. Then the spicy mangoes, which had that spice. Then the carmen. Then the ketchup and mustard. And then that cake. And then the espitos. So that is my ranking of these things. Um, yeah. My opinion on this box. Let's see. I'm just trying to get these so you can see them. My opinion on this box is actually, this box is a bit underwhelming. Um, I think of Spain and I think there'd be a lot more flavours, but there's some that has some really good flavours in it, but there's others that are just, what the hell are they doing in packaging? Basically, I, they, make, don't make, they don't make sense to me. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to have another sneezing fit. No, I'm not. I'm going to keep going. Okay, so there we go. The Universal Yums Yum Yum Box for Spain. I will say Greece and Austria boxes were so much better than this. There were so much more flavours and stuff. But um, I think it's just underwhelming. The flavours are underwhelming. If fried egg chips were amazing, lots of flavour, lots of flavour in the mangoes. Yeah, you know, there is stuff with a lot of flavour, but there's also some that were just, yeah, underwhelming. As in, basically, that that was almost like eating piece of cardboard. But guys, what do you think? Would you give one of these a go? If you do, link down below. Save yourself from money on that. Um, how oh, they do running? Oh, yeah, they, they do running of the bulls in Spain. What was, hang on, okay, where's that? Now, the essential questions. Solve a secret book. Use a booklet to solve a secret clue revealing one of the items in, oh, it's just revealing one of the items in next box. Okay, so this is going to be, I know, I'm not going to go through that here, but... What have they got? What have they got somewhere in here? Normally, they give you a clue. Oh, okay. Normally, on the back is a clue, right? I'm the, I was about to say it. Normally, there's a clue, but I'm just looking at this. There's no clue for next month. Instead, we have a sneak peek. In December. We'll visit a variety of countries trying their best holiday yums. Expect the following. Oh, so it's not just one country. So a nut torte from Switzerland, raspberry potato chips from Spain, almond chocolate bar from Germany. Okay, so hang on. It's just, I'm just adjusting that light. Nut taught from Switzerland. No Swiss winter is complete without these crumbly nut for nut filled torts and scrumptious special a scrumptious specialty the Alps. Raspberry potato chips from Spain, a sweet Spanish New Year's tradition, gets a salty upgrade with these crispy raspberry potato chips. Almond chocolate bar from Germany. This rich chocolate filled with 
crispy roasted almonds transports your taste buds to Germany's sprawling Christmas markets. Okay. Now, on the back of this box, this holiday season, give the gift of yums. If you're looking for a gift, um, this is absolutely brilliant. Um, save $10 on a six-month Yum Box subscription. Visit Universal Yums news slash Yum6. $20 on a six-month and $30. Oh, $20 a month. Um, as on a six month yum yum box, uh, say $30 on a six month super yum box. Um, as a gift, these are brilliant. Uh, it's a, as you say, it's a, it's a gift that keeps giving for six months. You, you buy a gift kit for six months and it's going to, every month, just get a little bit of package. Um, so, what I can say is, guys, give these a go. Give these a go. Um, yes. Some of this was underwhelming, but I'll tell you what, I haven't been to Spain. Don't know if I'll ever get the opportunity to visit Spain, but this is a visit to Spain in a way. Um, so yeah, guys, down below is a link to uh, get yourself, I think it was $5 off a box, your first box, um, but there's also details on how to get a subscription a six month gift box so yeah six boxes one a month for six months there we go so guys thank you for watching um hopefully you enjoyed this um give me your opinion i know i give some good facial expressions when i struggle with some food so yeah that's one side of it um yeah leave me a comment give me a thumbs up thumbs down if you want um subscribe and hit that bell um my i don't for those that have just found me via um the yum box or universal yums or the yum yum box check out the rest of my channel because i actually am majority a uh, craft channel um i do a couple of different crafts but guys thank you for watching and bye for now